Welcome to tutorial 4 in our Galactic Nails tutorials for Game Maker Studio 2. Um, and now we're going to do explosions because they are so much fun. So far in this tutorial series we've been working through the skills we've got highlighted here, especially last one, last tutorial, you learned about how to change instances. In developing our Galactic Mouse um, game we have, so far in the specifications, we've ticked off that we have um, a spaceship which lands on moons, is destroyed by asteroids, it spins left and right um, when pressing the A and D key and space does make it launch. We have moon and asteroids which move around in random directions uh, and we actually have background image and a sound for when we launch the ship. In this one, in this tutorial, we're going to make an explosion sound and an animation for when the ship crashes into an asteroid. Okay, so here we are. Um, putting our explosion into our game. So first thing we need to do is we need to create some of the resources for this. So I need to create the sprite for the explosion. So create sprite here and I'm going to import the sprite and it's our explosion roof gift, which is no surprise. And I'm going to rename him SPR Explosion. We're going to go into here and um, we're going to go into edit, sorry, edit image, and go here to here and get rid of that. Okay, so close you here. Oh, what happened there? Yeah, that's better. So it's all loaded in now. Um, now we are actually going to have an animation here. So we need to actually set the origin as well. Remember in the middle here, we won't have the same problems we have with our flying ship. Center and middle, and we need to. Um, set a speed because the explosion does actually happen. So let's um, set one at 24 and see that's a little bit fast. Let's bring him back down, maybe 16. Don't make him look, see how it goes. No, stop. Play. So that's the explosion. Just going to do that. Is that fast enough for us? Yeah, I think that'll do. So, uh, I'm going to close him up because we've done this right. Now, I also want to make an a sound for the explosion. So, create a sound. Um, let's choose the sound and an explosion sound. Load it in. Let's test it. Yep, that sounds like an explosion to me. Um, sound underscore um, explosion. Right, it's a wave, so it's uncompressed, done. So we've got our resources now. So now we actually need to create an object explosion. So now come into here and create the object. Um, OBJ. Right here. And we're going to give it the explosion sprite. Okay. And then when the object is created, so when it actually appears on our screen, for the first time, what we want it to do is we want it to play the sound. So, sound in here. We choose a sound of explosion. We don't want it to loop, it's time to play once. Okay, and we also want it at the end of the animation. So this is um, a different event. So the animation, as it goes through all of those um, all of the frames so at the end of the animation so you exist in animation and there we are in other at the animation and we want it to restart the game okay so I need to also so this is going to occur on an explosion layer so we're going to go back into the room now so we've got the object we need the object to be put on up here and it needs to appear on its own layer because we want it to be above the ship as well too. So I'm going to rename this, rename layer to uh, explosion. Explosion, okay. So that's that layer done. Yep. And now what we need to do is need to go into the flying object. So if you recall our last um, tutorial, we changed the 
instance from one object to another object when the ship was landing or taking off it it well, did work right until it landed and when it took off so we're also in the same situation here when it collides with the asteroid so i'm going to open up the flying ship and with the collision with the asteroid instead of just restarting the game i'm going to get rid of that and what we're going to do is actually make it um, i'm going to make it create an instance of the create an instance of explosion and it's going to be at zero zero relative so the same location where the actual ship is and we're going to have this happen on the explosion layer right here. so that's where we put the layer in there before and once we've done that when the ship creates an instance of the um, of the explosion we're then going to destroy an instance of the ship no that's created an instance don't do that let's go destroy an instance there we are destroy an instance destroy the instance of the actual flying object so let's see how this goes um, yeah let's go run it now okay let's see here's this yep so that worked it was pretty quick but you can see that it worked when it hits the the animation runs once the sound goes right here so that's done what we want in this one in this tutorial we're going to make an explosion sound and an animation for when the ship crashes into an asteroid well there we go we've dealt with all the things that make you go boom yes i did go there and we have dealt with the explosion sound and the animation in our progression towards the learning goal, we um, today have learnt about Animation N, which is a new event that um, we have come across.